Hello and welcome to WP Forms. In today's video, we're going to learn all about and how to use the Active Campaign add-on by WP Forms. The Active Campaign add-on can integrate your site's forms with your Active Campaign account, allowing you to grow your mailing list each time a visitor fills out and submits a form on your site. This add-on can also let you add contacts to your account, record events, add notes to contacts, and more. With that said, let's get started. After logging in and installing the WP Forms plugin, we'll first need to install and activate the Active Campaign add-on. We can do this by going to WP Forms, Add-ons, and finding the Active Campaign add-on. Click Install Add-on and wait for the status to change to Active. Now that the add-on has been activated, go to the Settings tab under WP Forms on the left, and then click on the Integrations tab. Scroll until you find the Active Campaign integration and click on it to open the integration settings. Click on the Add New Account button, and a list of additional fields should appear. The only field you can fill out right at this moment is the Active Campaign Account Name field. This is for internal use only, so you can name it whatever you'd like. The information for the next four fields can be found by logging into your Active Campaign account in a new tab. Once you're on the dashboard, click on the gear icon at the very bottom of the page to open the settings panel. Afterwards, click on the Developer tab. On this page, you'll see the following information. Your API URL and your API key. Copy each of these keys one at a time and paste them into their respective fields in the Integrations page in WP Forms. Adding in the Event Tracking Account ID and key is an optional step, but if you have Event Tracking enabled in your Active Campaign account, here's how to find these two pieces of information. In the Settings menu of your Active Campaign account, click on the Tracking option. At the bottom of the page, you should see a section called Event Tracking and a toggle that goes along with it. Make sure that this toggle is turned on, and once it is, you should see the Event key appear. Copy this and paste it into its respective field in the Integrations page in WP Forms. To find the Event Account ID, go back to Active Campaign, click on the link called Event Tracking API, and an overlay will appear. You'll see four bullet points. The first bullet point called Act ID will display a unique number. This is the tracking ID you'll need to copy and paste back into WP Forms. Once these fields have all been filled out, you can click on the Connect to Active Campaign button, and a green connected box should appear. Now that we've connected our Active Campaign account to our website, we're ready to go into the form builder and integrate the connection with our form. Click on the Add New tab on the left to go into the form builder. WP Forms comes with lots of different templates to get you started as quickly as possible. You can browse to the available categories to pick one you'd like to use, or search for specific keywords by using the available search bar. Let's use the simple contact form template as a base, and we'll go from there. Let's say that we want to give our visitors the choice of opting into our active campaign mailing list. Let's add a checkbox field to our form, and then click on it to customize its settings. We're going to update the label by asking our visitor if they'd like to sign up for our newsletter, and we'll update the label for our first choice to say yes, and we'll delete the remaining two options. Click on the Save button on the top right corner to save our changes. And from there, let's go to the Marketing tab on the left and click on Active Campaign to connect our form to our account. Click on the Add New Connection button on the top right corner, and an overlay will appear where you can create a name for your connection. Let's go ahead and give our connection a name, and from here, we'll select our newly connected account and Action to Perform. The Action to Perform drop-down list will offer you four different options. Subscriber, Create or Update, We'll add a new subscriber to an active campaign list or allow you to update an existing subscriber. If you select this option, a few additional fields will appear. Anything with an asterisk will be required. You can select a specific active campaign list to either create this new subscriber or update their information. In the subscriber email field, you'll select the email field in your form. The new subscriber email field should only be used if you're using your form to update an existing subscriber. In this drop-down, you'll select the email field in your form where the user should be entering their new email address. In the Subscriber Status drop-down, you can select which status will automatically be assigned to all users who fill out and submit this form. Below the drop-down fields, 
you'll see some additional settings where you can select either existing tags to add from your campaign account, create brand new tags upon submission for the subscriber, or tags to remove. You can also automatically add a note to the subscriber as well. You'll also have the option to map any custom fields in your form to fields with an active campaign. In the Custom Name field column, you'll be able to select a field from Active Campaign, and in the Form Field Value column, you'll be able to select the custom form field that you'd like to send to Active Campaign. Finally, you can apply conditional logic here so that the Active Campaign add on will only perform whatever action you choose if the user met a certain requirement. For example, our form had a checkbox asking visitors if they'd like to be added to our mailing list. We can enable conditional logic here and set it up so that the active campaign add-on will only add a user to our mailing list if they check the box. Subscriber Unsubscribe will let a user unsubscribe from your active campaign mailing list themselves. Their user record, however, will still be in your account. You'll select the specific list you'd like to apply this action to and select the form field that contains the subscriber's email address. Subscriber Delete will let a user delete themselves completely from your active campaign account. It's worth noting that you should only use this option if your form is specifically intended to allow users to do this. The only field you'll need to select for this action is the form field that contains the user's email address. You won't need to specify which list this action will apply to, since this is intended to delete a subscriber's information from your account altogether. Event tracking will allow you to trigger a specific action or automation in your active campaign account for any user who submits a form on your site. The subscriber email dropdown will allow you to select the email field in your form. If you have any custom events set up within your active campaign account, you can select it from the custom events dropdown field or add a brand new custom event from within the form builder. Once we finish configuring your settings, click on the save button to save your changes. You can now preview and submit a test entry to your form, and afterwards, check your active campaign account where you'll be able to find the information we just submitted. And that's all there is to it. You now know how to use the Active Campaign add on by WP Forms. If you have any questions or concerns, please be sure to visit WPForms.com and check out our documentation page, which has step by step written instructions for all of our features and add ons. If you need any extra technical help, please go to our contact page and reach out to our support team. Hey everybody, this is Daisy with WP Forms. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, where I can show you how to build smarter forms with WP Forms through our how-to videos and more.